I have created the worst team of all time in NHL 24. That is right, this team is going to be so bad that we are not going to win a single game for five straight seasons, proving to be the absolute worst team in NHL history. Our starting five will consist of the mom killer that is Corey Perry, who literally just got sent home for allegedly banging somebody's mother. I would like to clarify that rumor was actually denied by the GM, but it is Chicago at the end of the day, and we know how good they are at covering up situations just like this. But that is right, boys. Corey Perry is our number one centerman, number 94. He's also going to be the captain of our team. I mean, if you're banging a generational talent's mother, you deserve the goddamn captaincy. Now, for our right winger, it's going to be Ryan Reeves for obvious reasons. I mean, this guy's an absolute plug of a player. No skill whatsoever. He's a very good fighter, and that's why he's been in the NHL for a while. And right now, on the Toronto Maple Leafs, he is saving their season night after night. And for our final forward in our starting five, it's going to be none other than Josh Kitty, I mean Josh Giddy. This man has an NBA investigation on his head right now for allegedly having inappropriate relationships with a minor, which uh, is not the best situation to be in, obviously. I'm just going to sit back and see how it unfolds, but he is going to be part of the worst team in NHL history as he's 6'8", and I don't believe he knows how to skate. And now transitioning to our defense, our left defenseman is going to be the man who is one of the all-time NBA leading scorers, Carl Malone, who also impregnated a 13-year-old girl when he was like 21 years old so the whole nba world absolutely hates him he's been labeled carl 13 alone but the nba still decided to acknowledge him at last year's all-star game in utah what a weird world we are living in and for our other defenseman it's gonna be the man the movie legend that is leonardo dicaprio the man who does not date girls over the age of 25 he strictly likes the younger girls which is uh not great considering he's reaching 50 years old you old bastard he's gonna be wearing number 25 for obvious reasons Seasons, and he's going to be the D partner of none other than Carl 13 Malone. And for the final spot on our team, our starting goalie is going to be the greatest Walmart employee of all time in Gail Lewis. If you know, you know. She is probably the only bright spot of the team, honestly, but I don't think she knows how to play goalie, at least on skates. So she's probably not going to be stopping a lot of pucks, but she is by far the best player on our team, which is not really saying much considering this is the worst team of all time. The best Walmart employee in the history of Walmart. Walmart employees. So now that we know the entire roster of the Alaska Icemen, the worst team in NHL history, here are the lines. Josh Giddy, Corey Perry, and Ryan Reeves are going to be playing the entire game, our starting five, of course. I have put them on every single forward line, and every single one of them are going to be a zero overall. I mean, it says 36 there, but I do believe if you put every overall down to a 36, you are technically a zero. So these guys should simulate like actual trash on D. We do have Carl Malone and DiCaprio on every single D line and in goal, of course, the legend Gail Lewis, the greatest Walmart employee of all time. Sadly, though, she is going to be a zero overall as well, 36s across the board. So there you go. I have put the starting five on every single forward line and defense line, so they should play the entire game. They should also simulate absolutely horribly. So let's go ahead and see how bad the worst team in NHL history truly can be in five straight years. If you guys enjoy videos like this and hate what Corey Perry did to the Chicago Blackhawks organization, organization subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video as well so before we go ahead and simulate the entire season i do want to jump in one of these games here unfortunately we start off on the road for the first four games in the regular season so i'm going to jump into the game against the anaheim ducks so i would like to note before we go into this game we have not scored a single goal all season so far in four games getting shut out every single game that is horrible all right so here we are in the third period against the anaheim ducks who are currently leading us eight nothing Thing. Yes, that is correct. We literally only have one shot on goal. Did want to come in here and see what our arena looked like and our jerseys. I don't even think we have Gail Lewis in the net anymore. She might have got pulled early on in the game, considering it is eight to nothing. And there you go. The Anaheim Ducks are going to snipe another one to make it nine nothing Anaheim. It's going to be Ross Johnston, his first goal of the season and probably going to be his last of the season as well. Just walks in in the middle and just absolutely rips it home. No challenge whatsoever buddy else to play there is Corey perry lining up for the draw the greatest teammate of all time troy terry coming in i'm not even gonna lie to you i believe every shot that they take is probably gonna go in here and leonardo dicaprio gets laid out at the blue line go josh kitty come on back to carl malone 13 what a shot we got a shot on net 
That is a W in my books, boys. 17 seconds to go. Luckily, we don't have to watch this atrocity any longer. Trevor Zegers, you gonna hit the Michigan, buddy? As it looks like the Anaheim Ducks are gonna take this one 9 nothing over the Alaska Icemen, who have uh, still not won a single game all season long. So absolutely no surprise here as the Alaska Icemen are gonna end up finishing 0-82 for the entire season. As we were the worst team in our division and the worst team in the entire NHL. Montreal was also down here. Philly, San Jose, and St. Louis at the top. We have Colorado, Vegas, Tampa Bay, Carolina, and the Rangers. So somehow Carl Klingberg is actually going to play some minutes for the Alaska Iceman here as he's going to have two goals and four points leading our team. For the actual starters though, Ryan Reeves is going to score one goal and one assist for two points. He was a minus 748. Corey Perry had one helper, was a minus 764. Jesus. Carl Malone was a minus 754. Leonardo DiCaprio didn't have a point as well. Josh Kitty is definitely down here too. Now let's see how Gail Lewis performed. She is going to go 0 and 82. A 735 save percentage, which honestly, pretty good for a zero overall and a 17.67 GAA. That means she was allowing 17 goals per game. For the entire NHL, Elias Pettersson is going to lead in scoring with 97 points. Brad Marchand was up there. Leon Dreisaitl, Ovechkin, and Kucherov on the goal side. Ovi's going to lead with 59, followed by Cole Caulfield, who had 54, a very big season by him. Jason Robertson had 50. Connor Bedard was up there as a rookie, 48. Matthews, 47. And Dreisaitl, 45. And the Dallas Stars are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup as they beat the Tampa Bay Lightning in six games in the Stanley Cup final. Brad Marchand is going to win the Ted Lindsay, the Maurice Richard to Ovi, the Art Ross to Pedersen, and Hart also to Brad Marchand. The Norris is going to go to Kale McCarr, the Lady Bing to Kucherov. Connor Bedard wins the Calder, and Rope hints the Conn Smythe. The Vesna is going to go to Vassy, and the Selkie will go to Nathan McKinnon of the Colorado Avalanche. Peep Carl Malone winning the Bill Masterton Memorial Trophy. Awarded under the trusteeship of the Professional Hockey Writers Association to the NHL player who best exemplifies the qualities of perseverance, sportsmanship, and dedication to hockey. Congratulations to Carl 13 Malone. I mean, you got to be dedicated to play the entire season on a team that has not even won a single game. We have the opportunity to do the funniest thing ever in beating the Edmonton Oilers. Unfortunately, I do not think that's going to happen. Oh my God, a 10 bomb on our head? Shots are 53 to 1? Come on, boys. We need to put in a better effort than this if we want to win a Stanley Cup here. Like... What are we doing? We're losing 11-0 to the Edmonton Oilers. 12-0. And yet again, we are going to end up finishing as the worst team in the entire NHL as we go 0-82 for the second consecutive season. I mean, put us in the record books. That has never been done in NHL history. Winnipeg is going to finish as the best team, winning 50 games, followed by Boston. Toronto is up there, Dallas, and the Pittsburgh Penguins. If your team is up here, be happy because you're lucky you're not a fan of the Alaska Icemen. So for some reason, Otto Steenberg or Stenberg is going to to lead our team in scoring three points one goal well let's go down the list here leonardo dicaprio is going to actually have one goal and one assist for two points on the season i am shocked josh kitty also scored as well a minus 763 leonardo was a minus 760 ryan reeves had one assist on the season Corey perry i guess was not banging any broads this season as he did not score a single point let's go ahead and check on gail lewis how does she do oh and 82 a 744 save percentage and again 17 goals per game almost 18 if you have one point up it would be an 18 GAA which would uh yeah that would be the worst in NHL history Leon Dreisaitl is going to lead the NHL in scoring with 110 points followed by Pastas 109 Pedersen had 107 McDavid 107 now for the goal side Ovechkin yet again is going to lead this time with 56 Matthews had 55 Nico Ranton was up there Dreisaitl Pasta Robertson Marchand Connor Bedard had a pretty good rookie year again 42 goals Colorado is going to go on and win the Stanley Cup as they beat the Rangers in four games in the Stanley Cup Finals. A clean sweep. New York, man, you guys are down bad getting swept in the Stanley Cup Finals. That could never be me. David Pasternak is going to take home the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy, the Art Ross to Leon Dreisaitl and Maurice Richard to Alexander Ovechkin. The Norris to Miro Heiskanen, Lady Bing to Pasta. The Con Smythe is going to go to Nathan McKinnon. The Vesna to Tristan Jari and the Selkie will go to Connor McDavid. Also, Peep Carl Malone winning the Bill Masterton 
Heisman Trophy yet again. All right, so since the last two years have not gone our way whatsoever, not even winning a single hockey game, I'm going to change up some of the lines here. Hopefully, we can get some uh, better line combinations. There we go. Ryan Reeves is now our centerman. His two-way play is going to help us out in the defensive zone. And for the three-peat, we are going to end up finishing as the worst team in the entire NHL as we go 0-82 and 0. I mean, this year, we only had four goals for, which is 0.05 goals per game. We had 790 goals against, which is 9.63 a game. Every single one of our goals were a power play goal, so we are power play merchants. Um, we actually had 120 power plays, which is kind of shocking, but a 3.3% on them, which is absolutely terrible. And it looks like Max Freeberg is going to lead our team in points with three no goals, but three helpers. I guess the move did work as Corey Perry back on the wing is actually going to grab one assist on the season. Also was a minus 759. Ryan Reeves had an assist as well as Josh Kitty with one helper. And of course, every single one of these guys were minus 700s at least. Dale Lewis yet again is going to go 0, 82 and 0, a 746 save percentage and a 17 goals against average, which looks like that is what she's going to cap off at. For the entire NHL, Mitch the Bitch Marner is going to lead in scoring with 99 points, followed by Johnny Hockey's 98. Elias Pedersen had 97. Matthews also was up there. Nylander, Kucherov nailed for the goal side. Who is going to lead? It's going to be Matthews with 56. Followed by Line A's 47. Kucherov 45. Kaprizov 44. And Ovechkin 42. And the Tampa Bay Lightning are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup as they defeat Colorado in six games in the Stanley Cup Finals. Can you believe that the Carolina Hurricanes got swept in the Conference Finals yet again? That Conference Finals curse continues. Mitch Marner is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart Trophy, while the Maurice Richard is going to go to Matthews, the Norris to Roman Yossi, the Lady Bing to Johnny Hockey, the Con Smythe is going to go to Braden Point, the Vesna to Igor Shosturkin, and the Selkie will yet again go to McDavid. Leonardo DiCaprio is going to win the uh, Bill Masterton Trophy here, not Carl Malone, so at least we get one award every single season. All right, so instead of just simulating two more years with this roster, we know we're not going to win any hockey games. I'm going to be going into a shootout against NHL legends with this team, and we are going to see how they perform, and then we'll hop into a real game in a Stanley Cup final setting to see if we can actually clutch it up and do the funniest thing in NHL history. Also, for anyone wondering, here are the home and away jerseys of the Alaska Iceman. Rate them in the comments below, boys, 1 to 10. And just like I promised, we are going to be going up against the NHL All-Star Legends. They have guys like Bobby Orr, Wayne Gretzky, and Patrick Waugh. It is definitely going to be a rough night for the Alaska Iceman. All right, so Wayne Gretzky coming down on Gail Lewis. What a save. I don't even think that was a save that went off the crossbar. Now up first, we have our assistant captain in Mr. Ryan Reeves. Can he clutch one home for the boys? Oh my God. Ryan Reeves, a zero overall, is going to score on Patrick Waugh, one of the greatest goalies of all time. What am I witnessing right now? He sniped that too. Can the Alaska Iceman do the funniest thing ever? Here comes Joe Sackick. Come on, Gail. Clutch it up, Gail. Gail Lewis absolutely robs Joe Sackick. Come on now, Josh Kitty. Josh Kitty coming down. Ah, he doesn't take the best shot in the world, honestly. Oh my God. Here is Mario Lemieux coming down on Gail Lewis and does not get it to go. Gail Lewis so far is three for three. I also forgot to put the sound on. Here comes Leonardo DiCaprio. On Patrick Waugh, and he's just going to shoot it off the pad. All right, John Bilovo, what do you got here for Gail Lewis? She has stopped every single one so far. Nah, uh uh You are not doing the one-handed deke on Miss Gail Lewis, the greatest Walmart employee of all time, Captain Corey Perry. Is Connor Bedard's mother in the stand? Oh my God. If she was, I think he would have took a much better shot than that, but he's obviously saving it for a more important time. Team with Solani coming in. And Gail Lewis shuts the door as the Alaska Icemen are going to beat the NHL legends in a shootout. There is no way I just caught this on video. In my first attempt, I swear to God, this is my first shootout I went into. All right, now for the last test of the video, we have the Alaska Icemen up against the Edmonton Oilers in the Stanley Cup Finals. Single elimination. So there's only one game to be played. If the Icemen do it, they are Stanley Cup champions. If they do not, well, the Edmonton Oilers really don't gain much, honestly beating the worst team in NHL history. I mean, they did just beat the NHL legends in a shootout. Now, honestly, I was hoping for a much closer game than what we got here, but 
It is 6 0 for Edmonton, as it doesn't look like the Alaska Icemen are going to win the Stanley Cup. I do want to hop in here and see how funny it is to watch the Edmonton Oilers play the worst team. Oh my God, what is Corey Perry doing, dude? Right now, Edmonton is dominating, which they're actually doing in real life. They're on a four game heater right now. Carl Malone gets bumped off the puck by Ryan Nugent Hopkins. McDavid just blocked his own teammate's shot, and Evan Bouchard. Full pressure for the Oilers. They are dominating around the ice. That's not even Gail Lewis in. She got pulled already. You can't even give her the entire game to work with here. Come on, boys. Let's at least get one goal. I need to see us score one goal. I saw Ryan Reeves pot one in the shootout, but I do need to see a real-time goal. The rumor is definitely real. Here comes Dreisaitl. Gets stripped. He comes in. Gail Lewis is going to shut the door. I guess we uh, change goalies after that whistle. That's... It entirely weird. Evander Kane, what a save! Oh no, Gail Lewis couldn't cover it up as Evander Kane snipes one home. Darn, I was really hoping for a more competitive game. I thought because the Oilers are so bad right now in real life that there was a chance we could do maybe the funniest thing ever. Honestly, the funniest thing ever is beating the legends in a shootout with Josh Kitty, Corey Perry, and Ryan Reeves on the ice playing the entire game. The boys are definitely sweating in the locker room afterwards and Zach Hyman is gonna snipe it on Gail Lewis. Come on, boys. Help out our goaltender. What are we doing here? I've been thinking about doing more fun videos like this where I actually hop into like a seven game series. Maybe I do. Oh my God. There goes Zach Hyman again, sniping it on Gail Lewis. But what I was saying is maybe I could do like a fun NHL video where I take the best players from today's NHL and put them up against the best players of like the past NHL from like the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And we see who wins in a seven game series. Let me know in the comments below if you would actually watch a video like that of me commentating over it, I guess. I would sit down and watch every game of the series and see how they performed. Oh my God, Evan Bouchard. Literally every shot is going in on Gail Lewis right now. We need that. We need the 2011 Gail Lewis prime associate of Walmart. The Oilers are sitting on a 10 piece chicken nugget over the Alaska Iceman, and we just took a penalty? No way. Two minutes tripping. Corey Perry is going in the box. I don't know if he heard Connor Bedard's mom was doing the clock, or he just wanted to spend some time in the sin bin. And there it is, the Stanley Cup waiting to be presented to the Edmonton Oilers, just like it's gonna happen in real life. I don't care. Don't at me. Come back to my channel in June when the Oilers are raising the cup. That's right, boys. I said it. That may be the hottest take of 2023. Two minutes to go in a 10 nothing hockey game. I mean, the writing on the wall says at all. I'm just hoping for at least one goal. 15 seconds to go in the third period of the single elimination Stanley Cup final charity event that we put on for all the Alaskan fans back home. Because we knew we were not making the Stanley Cup finals in the actual NHL, the Oilers were obviously nice enough to lend us their ice to participate in for the full 60 minutes that we were here. And we did not even end up scoring a single goal as the Edmonton Oilers are going to go all the way, winning the Stanley Cup charity event over the Alaska Iceman in single elimination. 10 to nothing as the Oilers win their very first Stanley Cup in a long ass time. McDavid gets his very first as well as Leon Dreisaitl as the Edmonton Oilers can be very happy over their performance against the Alaska Iceman. Zachary Hyman, the esports owner, is gonna win the Conn Smythe, scoring two goals and one helper for three points in the game. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more NHL content just like this there you go i've created the worst team of all time boys and we probably did the funniest thing of all time beating the nhl legends in a shootout let me know in the comments what i should do next i would like to say thank you all for watching and until next time don't be silly wrap your willy and enjoy Connor mcdavid lifting the stanley cup i'm out peace